Jeff, we met here two hours ago. That's right. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Congratulations, by the way. Thanks very much. Thank you so yeah. much. So we have just agreed, I've just agreed to buy Jeff's portfolio of 32 properties. Correct. For a 75% purchase price. That's right. Which most people watching this will think is absolutely impossible unless mm -hmm. I've like beat you up or, you know, somehow hoodwinked you. But actually, you're a multi-million pound business owner. So would you like to tell the guy who's watching? And by the way, that's a no money down deal for me. And a lot of people watching will think, well, there's got to be a loser in a deal. And the reason I'm doing this episode is because you're happy and I'm yeah. happy. So can you explain to the guys why you're happy? Um, well, quite simply, it's become a, a weight millstone around my neck. Um, I've got other deals on the go that are far more lucrative. Um, selling 32 properties in today's marketplace is extremely difficult. Um, we're in a downward trend. Um, we've done a deal um, and the deal we've done has been good for both of us. Uh, and I think that's the way all deals should be. As long as we're all happy with the, the outcome, I get what I want, Frank gets what he wants, uh, and um, I get on with moving forwards and making 10 times as much money as possible. <laughs> well, that's it, that's mm. it. If your hourly rate is mm. greater doing, you buy businesses no money down, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Which is interesting, isn't it? And Jeff is not the first person I've bought from who knows that they're selling at a discount, knows that your asset is worth more than I'm paying for it, but you can go make more money than yeah, your your right. discounting by in your, in yeah. your further business. Yeah. Would you mind telling the guys about the business that you've just bought? I bought a, um, a prestigious furniture company called uh, No Money Down. Um, I use cash in the company. I use Siebel loans um, and I used an earn out situation for the owner as well. Um, and then I did a two part structured deal where I, um, I bought the building uh, separately from the actual company as well. So the whole thing cost me nothing in reality to buy um, other than some hard work and uh, uh, obviously an understanding of these things. And the irony is Jeff does exactly what we do with property. Like Jeff today was coming up. We've, we've done this. I'll show you my notes. My note, I've got two. That's actually not a lot of notes. Two pages of notes. We've probably had a what? Six or seven different, yeah, yeah. different solutions. The two of us started from the position of Jeff's happy with 75%, but how will we value those? Valuing 32 properties we worked out could be mm. 50 grand in themselves. So mm. how do we buy How do we value them all? Um, how do we keep the legals down? How do we keep the stamp duty down? So we've looked at it from mm -hmm. both our perspectives. What well, not just say? stamp duty, I'm just saying capital gains tax in a situation like that. So yeah. obviously if I've, I've kept most of my portfolio for 20 years, there's a massive amount of capital gains tax involved. That was a, an issue for myself. Other situations that, um, from a personal point of view, I'm going through a divorce as well. So in effect, uh, giving away property for half the price only cost me a quarter of the price. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but it's, it's whatever works for you, isn't it? You, you've yeah. got your list yeah. of requirements and yeah. we've obviously got our buying criteria and we've just made we, sure that in... We're two people who, who do deals uh, and that's what I came out the day for was mm. that do a deal. Uh, Frank knew what he wanted, I knew what I wanted. And after five or six different variations, we, we all came out ahead of the game. And it's it's two hours of time. The last time, funny enough, we have met in a previous life, haven't yeah. we? Five yeah. years ago, something like oh, that? Five years ago, yeah. Five years ago, Jeff and I, our paths crossed. Um, you're a mortgage broker, mm. um, from memory, or equity release, equity uh, release, equity yeah. release broker. Mm. Jeff and I did a very little bit of business. I think we might have mm. passed you a little bit of business or some yeah. of my clients did. Um, and it, that's interesting because on this channel, Jeff, I talk a lot about mm. relationships and people knowing that you can buy properties. Yeah. And you remembered me from five years ago, a couple of interactions, yeah. and I was the person you phoned. I wasn't the only one though, was I? No, you were the second <laughs> person. But, uh, uh, but, but five years ago, you asked if I'd come down and talk at one of your seminars. Yeah. and. And I, um, I ran a seminar on equity lease, how we could use that in development um, for the use of development properties. But I bought my properties normally down deals in the yeah. anyway. Yeah. So I, I see it as no different selling them in yeah. a normally down deal. So I, I did individual deals to get the individual 30. In fact, I did over 100 in total. Wow. Um, back, at, back sort of 20 years ago. So I knew how to structure it myself and it was kind of just reversing it mm. for, you, for you when we came to doing it. And, and that's so important on the open market in the marketplace 
people get so used to thinking that everyone wants to sell their properties at market value. Below market value is impossible, but Jeff's just said it. He bought these no money down, BMV. Yeah. He's refinanced them during the time. So you've had cash out of them. He's mm -hmm. earned, um, what have we said, 17 grand a month in rental yeah, income. Out, yeah. 17 grand a month in rental income for 20 years. Obviously it's gone up over time, but now selling a little bit below market value is worth it to Jeff because it gives you, it frees you up about time. It's a yeah. single deal. I'm going to work my socks off over about six months to uh, to make it happen. But you know that I'm going to do that because there's enough in it for me. It's yeah. a win-win, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. So the question you guys are probably going to be asking is, how do we structure it? How can I be confident in this market? So we're five days before Christmas. We're recording this on the 20th of December. But how can I know that I can buy 32 properties in the current climate? You know, we've got cost of living, we've got strikes, we've got Bank of England base rate just gone up again, 0.5%. Um, well, the way we've done it is Jeff has been very proactive. A lot of vendors, Jeff, will come to us when they're a month from the end of their term. In fact, we're buying some at the moment. Um, where the vendors are beyond their term, they're a year beyond and the, the mortgage companies at their door. Jeff has got these with five years left? Um, yeah, nearly five up to um, 10. Five to 10 years left on his mortgages. So what we've agreed today is actually a control now pay later purchase, which I've talked about a lot on the channel. So we've agreed to exchange contracts now. We've agreed the price, purchase price. We'll be personally liable, so we'll um, have personal guarantees in place, which commits me, A, to taking over all the properties now, which gives Jeff the freedom of time. So I'm responsible for paying Jeff's mortgages, for maintenance of the properties, for managing the properties, um, insuring the properties. So that I act as if I own them now, but Jeff knows he's guaranteed a purchase price on all 32 properties at the point that those mortgages come to an end. So you get what you want, which is handing over the keys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, and we get what we want, which is a no money down deal and an equity. And basically what Jeff's had over the last 20 years, we're gonna get over the next 20 years. So Absolutely. it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Jeff, right. thank you so much, mate. Thanks, Frank. Look forward to it. Take Cheers. Care.